All right, we are live with a Season 12 Cup Top 8 game. Um, this is the first round of the Season 12 Cup where Children of the Empire is legal, so that should be interesting. Ooh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so this is a thing that can happen now. Um, Secluded Shrine and two Solemn Scholars, so he's just going to play those with two Fate each. That's going to be tough to deal with. Um, there is one assassinate in the crab deck, but he basically can't attack this turn. Hmm. The crab deck here is actually kind of interesting. I haven't seen too many crab decks post uh, Children of the Empire, but it seems like there's some unusual choices here. There's one Jade Tetsubo, but he's not running the Forge. Um, a little bit lighter on conflict characters. One Skirmisher, two Wayfinder is definitely unusual. Um, he has one Censure, one Defend Your Honor, one Spreading the Darkness, one Gaijin Customs, one Way of the Crab, a lot of one ofs. Uh, I should probably post my stream link. I don't think I did that yet. Okay, so um, Travis is going to pass both of his conflicts here. Um, so he's just going to take the favor. Let me double check his provinces. So attacking here as crab, I mean, you just don't get anything out of it no matter what, right? Unless you, like, assassinate and then conflict character and then spreading the darkness or something. Uh, Wayfinder is going to see Upholding Authority. It's a good one to attack if you're not planning on breaking. Otherwise, maybe not. The other ones are Meditations, Fertile Fields, and Manicured Garden. Ooh, Skirmisher as well, so not a lot of conflict characters in the deck, but... Um, managed to find a couple of them here. And we're going to see an attack with everybody. Let's see where he goes. He's going at the shrine. And that is the upholding authority that he saw. We see defense with a solemn scholar. And action immediately going to bow the skirmisher. Storehouse draws a card. Interesting. Doing that during the conflict. Um, that gives Travis the other action to use his other scholar if he wants to do that. If not, it might get assassinated. Uh, we see Embrace the Void on the Scholar that's in the conflict. Ooh, we see a Charge. I didn't actually realize that Charge was his restricted list card. Yes, th so three Charge here. Um, Shuichi comes out, gains a fate, but he does get bowed by the Solemn Scholar. So Crab is still winning this, but not breaking. Wow, another charge on the Borderlands Defender. So now that is going to be the break. Um, Travis could play a Storm or a Banzai. 
we're going to see double bonsai on scholar. So it's 5-5, five to five. that means Crab is still winning the conflict, but not breaking. And he's happy with that, just going to pass. He has spent more cards than Travis, but the Earth Ring is going to put him ahead on hand size again. Hits a Supernatural Storm, and we see a Reprieve on the Shuichi. Looks like no let go for that. Travis will get the favor. Um, Secluded Shrine helping out with that. Okay, so Crab finds Witch Hunter, Borderlands Defender, Iron Mine. Iron Mine's pretty good here. I'm um, going to see Borderlands with three Fate. Phoenix has a Tadaka and a Mia Mystic there, and then a Library. Going to play the Mia Mystic, and then probably pass, yep. So 3 Fate, Borderlands Defender, we could see some Spyglasses played on that. Unfortunately again Crab is going to have a tough time getting any kind of attack through here. Uh, unless he has another charge maybe, that could be good. He's already played two of those though, so only one left. Um, Wayfinder going to take the fate off of a ring here. Water ring. Hmm. Not sure why he's going water. I guess maybe to just force this Mia Mystic to defend? Um, I guess that's a ring that you probably don't want to display, really. So that could be why he's going for it. This is political, so... Okay, Travis is just going to let him have that ring since it doesn't do anything. We do see Spyglass number one on the Borderlands Defender. So now Travis has to think, um, do I just kill the Spyglass with the Mystic or do I save it for a Reprieve? It looks like he is going to save it for now. And passes his first conflict opportunity. Um, Travis really wants the Crab player to attack him here since he has the Solemn Scholars turned on and wants to get use, good use out of those abilities. So just going to be passing conflicts for a little bit. Uh, Schroeds passes his second conflict as well though, so those Solemn Scholars won't get used this turn. And we see a Shrine Maiden. Wow, draws three cards, two Embrace the Voids, and a Storm. That is pretty good. Um, if Travis attacks now... <laughs> Travis achieving big brain singularity this game, yeah, definitely. Um, if Travis attacks now, he's going to let Schrodes get his Shuichi ability and the Spyglass on the Borderlands Defender. Um, but he is going to go for it. 
looks like the fire ring and he finds manicured garden so breaking this iron mine would be pretty good um, obviously we see a defense with both characters it's gonna be skill six so we know he has storm in hand double storm would be plus six he would win by two um, and then crab box it would just be even Ooh, we see a watch commander though so that's gonna be a little bit more difficult now if he plays double storm he loses two honor and then he still needs another card to win um... he can use the mia mystic to kill the watch commander yep that's what he's gonna do uh... that does give a minus one to his storms though and we see another watch commander come down immediately Shuichi gains a fate manicured gardens gains a fate not forgetting any of his triggers here and favorable ground actually going to send Shuichi home so he wants to get the favor here um... Travis could still win this conflict if he commits two storms it will cost him two honor. Ooh, he's actually going to let go of the Watch Commander. Wait, that doesn't work anymore, does it? Obviously, it hasn't been implemented in Jikoku, but. An honor, you mean, yeah? Should I let him know, or should I just let him keep keep going? We see Talisman of the Sun. It looks like uh, they didn't catch that there. I'm actually not sure, because that's in the new rules reference, but I don't know if that's like live yet, or for the League. I don't really know. Um, well, they didn't catch it, so I think I'm just going to let this keep going, since I'm not actually sure. Uh, we do see Travis play a bonsai there, so he's winning by two now. Talisman can move to a different province. Um, so you could go Shameful Display, or what else? I think Shameful Display is the only one that makes sense. You would still need an extra point if you want to actually win, though. Like, honestly, I probably would have considered just leaving Shuichi in the conflict and taking the win. Because now, if he gets this firing, he gets to dishonor somebody. Yeah, um, there's the stronghold. Like, if Travis gets this ring, then they tie favor. Yeah, I definitely agree with you that attacking was bad here. Um, like, Travis, he has the Solemn Scholars. All he really has to do is wait here until he finds Ugina or something. And then he just wins. Uh, embrace the Void on Borderlands Defender. Firing did go through. So yeah, I think he probably should have just kept Shuichi in the conflict and taken the guaranteed win as opposed to getting the trying to get the favor. Um, he actually didn't use the talisman. I guess he was worried about the second storm to break Shameful. So decided not to use that. Wow, Intimidating Hita. That is a card I have not seen in a while. So Tadaka is going to come out. 
that is going to prevent charge. That's the only event he's played so far, actually. Yeah, like if you left if you left Shuichi in that conflict, you could talisman to defend the wall, right? And then he either has to like spend way too many cards or you get to firing yourself and you would be honored now. Or you could just go to Shameful, I guess, if that's the line, and then you would have an honored Shuichi. Like I think I think ultimately just letting him have the favor and keeping Shuichi in that conflict was better. Um, we'll see what Schrodes is going to buy here. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point too. Shenful says, if you wanted to grab favor, just leave Shuichi out. <laughs> yeah, definitely a lot of cards um, in Schrodes' deck here that I have not seen in quite a while. Yeah, if you have uh, Shuichi in the conflict boxes plus two. Schrodes is going to drop his bid to one. Travis bids three, so it's 15 cards to nine. Travis at five honor. Um, Schrodes decided to go for the Intimidating Hita, actually, so he's going to try and drain some honor away from Travis if he keeps passing conflicts. Um, yeah, these Embrace the Voids are definitely getting Travis a lot of fate. We see Shrine Maiden going to find Cloud the Mind. Um, that's the second let go discarded, so there's only one let go left. But he does have this Mia Mystic here. Have we seen it consumed? Uh, no, we have not seen consumed by five fires off of Shrine Maidens yet. We see Tattooed Wander on Tadaka. It's going to be Treble. Yeah, so Tadaka is just going to start smashing things here with his Covert. Doesn't even really need to worry about the Intimidating Hita, I think, since he can just play like against the waves and just get two Tadaka attacks. Uh, Covert's the Borderlands Defender. Going for the Air Ring. Shrine Maiden so far is four and two. Yeah, definitely still pretty good on those Shrine Maidens. On average, they're drawing two cards this game. So the question, I guess, is like, can you even attack this round as Crab? I don't think you really can. You just, you, you have to wait for those Psalm Scholars to leave play, I think. He only has like one conflict character left, right? So if you defend this with the Shuichi and the Intimidating Kita, um, you can move to Shameful Display and Dishonor Tadaka. Then he probably breaks it though, right?
like I feel like what's gonna happen this turn is that Tadaka is just gonna break two provinces and Crab won't be able to do anything about it. He still has Storm in his hand, right? Yeah. There's a fine katana. So one storm would be enough for the break here. Tanaka being impressive, I mean, he's not turning off any events except for charge, although that might be a little bit important if he has it. Um, but yeah, like he's just about to start breaking things. He has Covert, he has some Katanas. Hasn't even had to spend the Storm yet. Oh no, he did have to spend it. Yep, so that's going to be the break on Manicured Gardens. I'm a little bit surprised he didn't move to Shameful Display. Because, like, this Tadaka is going to stand back up, right? Oh, he's attacking! Okay. So I guess he figures, like, he's just going to get coverted anyway, so he might as well attack to get the Spyglass triggers and the Ring Fate. Um, which seems fair, although going at Fertile Fields does mean that Travis gets some resources as well. Oh, that's a good point. Fight on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good call there. Can fight on on defense. Uh, Solemn Scholar is going to bow that court games to honor. And that's going to be it. Yep, there's the Against the Waves, as expected. So we'll see what province he finds now. Um, best one for him to hit would be Defend the Wall, I think, because that's really awkward when you have Talisman. Ooh, it's going to be Meditations. So not quite what he was looking for. That's going to take a fade off of Tadaka. Oh, did Tra Travis forget to use Fertile Fields? Yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, so we do... Ooh, wow, that's really bad. So fight on, and then it gets censured. There were only two censures in the deck, so he had the other one. I guess there were only 15 cards left, though, so... So no fight on. Yeah. Um, at least you don't have to talisman now, I guess. I don't know, like, it, it feels bad either way. Tadaka breaks two of your provinces. Uh, we see Embrace the Void on Intimidating Hida. Ooh, is this going to be the five fires? That would be pretty sick here if he has it. UA would have done some good work there. Yeah, that's a good point that Maki makes. Um, if he were running Upholding Authority instead of Defend the Wall, he could have Talisman to that. Grab only on one Defend Honor, yeah. Um, but there was the Mystic to kill that Talisman. Uh, that means no Consumed by Five Fires, at least. Travis says everything except fires. Well, he hasn't found Ugina yet either. Ooh, Way of the Crab on Intimidating Hita. That's pretty strong. Do you want to see Solemn Scholar? Uh, you can't really see it. It's just if you have the Earth Ring and you're claimed Ring Pool, he bows an attacking character. Um, pretty good way of the crab. 
like it's not the best way of the crab in the mo in the world obviously but uh hitting that big tadaka that was honored with a ton of attachments and the intimidating hita had an embrace the void also so you got to deny him that one extra fate pretty pretty okay um, and still no Ujina here for Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. You never really see like a big blowout way of the crab anymore where it's like a Caillou Envoy and a clan champion with four fate. Um, you gotta just take those uh, small gains off of it. Prodigy of the Waves with three fate. Crab gonna play a bunch of characters here. Um, the only thing that's kind of awkward is there's no good Witch Hunter target unless you have a Conflict character. And we know there's only one of those left in this deck. Um, Shrodes gets the Passing Fate. Embrace the Void doesn't work if you sack. It does, except he had already used it that turn uh, during the Fate phase. Yeah, I believe there's one Keeper. You can only use Embrace the Void once per turn. So since he used it to get the one fate that came off of him during the fate phase, he couldn't use it to get the other fate when he got way of the crabbed. So he only got one fate instead of two. Wow, third spyglass on the Borderlands Defender. And both players are bidding one now which makes it less likely that Travis is going to find the five fires, and he's already spent all three of his Embrace the Voids as well. So, I mean, this is where Crab has to use the advantage that he has and try and turn this game around. But, I mean, I think if Travis found the five fires this turn, then Crab just loses. I mean, he's only used one Reprieve, I guess, but... Yeah, he kept the Kassad on the province. Um, that is a good point. If there's a five fires, he can Reprieve Kassada and then um, use the dupe next turn. He's actually not running a rebuild. He has Charge as his restricted list card. So we won't see any of those. Would have liked to see one more fade on the Casada, yeah. Yeah, no rebuilds, unfortunate. Um, what ring is this going to be? It looks like fire, which seems like a good choice. Yeah, to Dishonor the Prodigy. The only problem is we have not seen a display of power yet. Yeah, I mean, that could be the case that Travis has just used up all his luck. Ooh, wow, that Shrine Maiden didn't hit anything. Uh, Meditations is going to get eaten by Kasada. Consumed by five fires into let go wins game immediately. Yeah, probably. Oh, was that? Oh, yeah, that was the last let go that just got discarded. So there are no let goes left. Um, no defense. Yeah, I was about to say no defense suggests display of power there. It's going to honor the Prodigy. Travis needs to play a bunch of cards and then Karmic Balance. Yeah, that would be a pretty big brain play. Um, I don't think he has that in his deck, though. So, uh, Gaijin Customs, Ready's Borderlands Defender. Seems good. Is he running... Oh, KB is Karmic Balance. Yeah, no, he's not. Isomalt is just memeing. Yeah, the Schrodes Gaijin Custom Special for sure.
one of those in the deck still. Um, so I guess this is going to be a prodigy attack. Do you risk going water? No, he's going to go void, it looks like. Nope, maybe Earth. Okay, yeah, he's going for the Earth Ring. Yeah, he has one Jade Tetsubo also. We haven't seen that yet. Um, this is Defend the Wall. It's Political Earth. Ooh, is he just going to defend with everybody? Yeah, it looks like he is. Three draws off a of Spyglass. Jade Tetsubo and Formal Invitation are your two favorite cards. Interesting. Uh, there are no Feral Nigos in the deck. That card has been cut. Mountain does not fall. Kind of expected one of those. Um, he has no fate now, though. So he'll have to attack this with the watering if he wants to have any fate to play reprieves. He he baited out one display of power on the firing. So it's possible that there's no second display of power here. Yeah, not having the Feral Ningos definitely hurts in the Crab matchup. Um, that's a card that Crab really doesn't like to see. But overall, Feral Ningo just like wasn't good enough in like the mirror matchup and other like dragon stuff. So it ended up getting cut. So Borderlands Defender going to attack Manicured Garden here. Doesn't really care about giving him fate, probably. Kasada and Watch Commander are much better now as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's it's really just the crab matchup, I think, that Ningyo is like really good in. Yeah, so that's the decision here is do you want to give Travis a card or do you want to give him two fate? Um giving him a card Oh no, he doesn't have enough fate to play five fires. Yeah, so it is just going to be fertile fields. He's attacking with the air ring, actually. Interesting. So he doesn't want to let that prodigy stand up. Um, and I guess he also doesn't want display of power to happen. And breaking library is good too. Yeah, that's true. He won't get a card draw from that next turn if this breaks. Yeah, so, like I said, I expected this to be water, but water would let him stand up the, like, water, um, water just loses super hard to him having the other display of power, right? Because then he can stand up his prodigy and, uh, break defend the wall. Does Travis have conflict characters left? Um, he's played all three of his Shrine Maidens, I believe. And one... So he has one Tattooed Wanderer left. Yeah, he has Against the Waves. There's one in the discard. I haven't seen the other ones. So he could play Against the Waves during this conflict. Uh, but not going to do that with this... Oh no, he's already used his Stronghold. Yeah, so he has to have one in his hand. Earring takes a fate. Ooh, yeah, he does have it, though. That's a little bit unfortunate. So now Travis can get a completely free earring. Oh, wait, no, he gets a void ring. Yeah, and you just kill the Borderlands defender. 
Mm, yeah, that's a little bit questionable. And he put all the attachments on it, too. Yeah. Yeah, if you go water, you get the fate. And then as long as you have the reprieve in your hand, you're just safe. Go void there, force the display next turn, he only has 8 fate. Yeah, that's a good call too, I think. If he displays void though, you're in you're back in the same spot, right? Water if you have fight on, void if you don't, yeah. Seems good. Yeah, I'm not really sure on the Witch Hunter by this turn. Like, that didn't really end up doing anything for him. Since he couldn't use the ability. Yeah, I, I agree with Bill. I think if you just... Oh, he thought he had a fate left. Hmm. Yeah, I think you just don't buy the Witch Hunter, and then you just have enough fate to do everything, especially if you have, like, fight on. Needed to sack the Witch Hunter to herself and defend Void. Yeah, you could do that for sure. Could have sacked BD to stand Kasada. Well, I think I think standing the Borderlands Defender is better because it has all the attachments. Um, hmm. Yeah, double Iron Mine here. We do finally see Ugina come into play. Yeah, and Crab just going to take the passing fate here. Ethereal Dreamer. Yeah, so this is going to be pretty tough uh, for Crab. Phoenix is first player. Um, I think you probably go Political Void. Yeah, Reprieve would have been uh, the card, probably. Ugina does very little on this board. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, okay. Going all in on the Voidering, it looks like. At the Stronghold. And we see both characters defending. He does still have a Talisman in his deck. What? Why didn't Crab buy anything? Um, I don't know. I kind of would have rather seen Asami there. Yeah, I think you mean Atsuko, maybe? Yeah, I mean... I'm not really sure... I think he basically needs the talisman to not just be dead here. Yeah, Atsuko would definitely be pretty massive. Um, I mean, yeah, after making that mistake last turn, he's probably a little bit tilted. Unfortunately.
I mean, I think, like, ultimate, ultimately, now that Eugene is here, we're going to start seeing Travis just eating through all of Crab's saves and killing all of his characters. Uh, he does have two talismans in his deck. We see Cloud on Eugenia, okay. So, yeah, if he does have the second talisman, there's an Assassinate. He can potentially save this. Wow, he does have the second talisman, okay. Um, clarity of purpose on the prodigy, though. Like, I think Travis is still just going to break on his second attack, right? Shameful gets used, court games. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Okay, so Casada going to go military water. Probably has some fight ons to play. Um, if he does, okay, yeah, so he does go out manicured. This is going to give Travis two fate, and the prodigy can defend for free, which feels kind of bad. Do you think he even knows that he did that? Like, I'm not entirely sure. I feel like he would have said something. Okay, that's going to be the win for Crab, so you can stand Witch Hunter, get your keepers. Uh, Prodigy of the Waves readies. Oh, did Kasada cancel the first one? Is that what happened? Wait, where is it? Okay, yeah, he had Kasada canceled. Okay, I'm not crazy then. Or I am crazy, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so Prodigy going at the Stronghold. It's going to leave the Witch Hunter at home. Did Eugenia not trigger for some reason? That is correct, and the reason is he is clouded. Yep, there's the fight on. So it looks like he will survive this turn. And he gets to go for probably an Earth Ring here. Ooh, never mind. Prodigy of the Waves gets readied. Uh, so now you just pass and take favor. Oh, wow. Did not expect that. We'd see Witch Hunter ready Kasada, so... Okay, so this way I guess he can attack and force the Prodigy to defend, and then he still gets favor? Uh, did he along the River of Gold the Kasada on the political defense? No. Um, no, I don't think he used it. So yeah, Travis will just defend this. I kind of feel like this was a waste of a Keeper Initiate that you would have still had next turn. Oh, yeah, and we see the Clarity of Purpose as well. 
So now Travis is actually going to keep the favor even. There's a court games to dishonor the prodigy, okay. We see a pass and a pass. So yeah, it's gonna be a tie for favor now. So Travis will keep that. Like I think it was better if he just passed his conflict, he would still have a one fate keeper that would now be a zero fate keeper, and then he would get favor unless Travis had a second against the waves. Well, there's the third keeper, okay. As well as an intimidating Hida, which he will play. Yeah, I mean, that's true. He forced a clarity, but. And he got to play the court games. Okay, yeah, so I guess there are some good points there. I feel like he has the sentry in his hand, though, and he really wants to turn that on. Court games is what made it worth? Yeah, sure. I, I can get behind that. So Crab is first this time around. Ethereal Dreamer used on water seems good. Hmm, so what's this attack going to be? How many fight ons has he played now? Two? Yeah, two fight ons. Okay, so it looks like he's going for the airing. Um, he really still seems to be committed to dishonoring Phoenix out as his win condition, but I don't really think that's going to happen. Like, I think Phoenix will just break the stronghold before that happens. Um, I guess you just, you attack here and then you Witch Hunter to restand Kasada and then that's fine. And if he displays this, you don't really care. Plus you get the fate. No watch commanders left, so yeah, I think the dishonor win is pretty dead. Uh, probably just wants to force a defense here. That's fine. Ended up just sending the keeper initiate. Um, this is going to turn off Casada though, which could be relevant. <sighs> hmm. Um, I guess you can favorable ground Kasada in if you want. 
Okay, Travis actually attempts to favorable ground, but it gets canceled. We see a spreading the darkness on the Keeper Initiate. Ooh. So Travis actually getting the win on this conflict would be pretty good. Yep, and that is what we see happen. Um, I don't think Travis is too worried about that, though. He still has three honor, so he should be fine. Has plenty of ways to stand his characters. I think this is going to be the water attack. Uh, the only potential problem here is if Crab manages to win this on defense, then you might be a little bit sad. But... I don't know if that will happen. And then even if it does, you probably just break on the next attack. Going to be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, 13, 14, 15. If he defends with all three, it's 15 after he uses his abilities. He can steal the fan with Karata District. He has a ton of fate. Yep, it is going to be the defense with all three. Uh, Mountain does not fall would probably be pretty good to have right now. We've seen one of those. Yeah. Ooh, Cloud the Mind on Witch Hunter. That's unfortunate. Political Void seems safer. Maybe. Ooh, Cloud on Casada as well. Yeah, Cloud on Ugina makes Void not as good. If Ugina uh, w wasn't clouded, then yeah, you just go Void easily. Ornate Fan on Casada. Um, that was a little bit unnecessary since he was already winning. We see a pass from Travis. Ooh, favorable ground moves intimidating heat at home. Okay. Interesting. Uh, why fan Casado versus the guy with fate? Well, obviously you said that before it happened, but because he was going to move the other guy home, I guess. Um, he could have just moved the Witch Hunter home, though, instead, and put the fan on the Intimidating Hida. Ooh. Okay, so he is going to win that on defense. Uh, the other thing, I think, is I'm fairly certain we're going to see a Reprieve on Kasada. Prodigies are going to stand back up. And it looks like Keeper is going to poke Void, I imagine, at Manicured Garden. Unless he forgot to use it, I guess. Did he forget to use it? No, he didn't. So yeah, just attack Manicured. Poke fire here, I think. Yeah, fire definitely seems good. Like, he has no fate to um, display it, so you, just, you can just go for whatever ring is the best, which is probably fire. Although, I guess void is... Like, if you actually win the void ring, it's probably better. You just kill this prodigy. Going into next turn. Um, going at upholding authority, maybe.
Is UA a good choice for some reason? Uh, that's a good question. I think the only reason to attack upholding authority here is if you... Hmm. Like, I was thinking maybe he's going to go for the break on three strength, like you just steal a fan. Ooh, we see court games. Uh, so maybe he is still going to go for the break, actually. No, I don't think he can break here. There's the Karata. Perhaps his current hand is not amazing. Yeah, that's true. Um, there's Supernatural Storm played from the discard. I think he wanted to bait one of these prodigies into defending, which is maybe more likely if he goes at upholding authority. Uh, Maki also points out that if he doesn't defend and just lets upholding break, then he can't play a clarity, but he didn't do that anyway. We're going to see a pass. How many against the waves? One, two, three. Okay, no more against the waves, actually. So, attack at river with the prodigy. He still has one storm that he hasn't played. But we're not going to see that, so Shrodes will finally get favor. Uh, we do see the reprieve on Casada. There's a pass. Has he seen all three Casadas? Yes. Okay, um, so Shrodes finds one high cost character to play here at least. Uh, the secluded shrine is pretty decent. Can just turn on those prodigies without having to attack water. Only eight fate though. Like he has to want to play Tadaka here, right? Ooh, not going to do it, maybe. Maybe he just plays, like, a one-fate Tanaka and tries to break the stronghold. We see Kaio Envoy with no fate. Travis passes. Yeah, so we did see the one-fate Tanaka. There's Shuichi. You don't even have to worry about five fires either because Travis has no fate. And no embrace the voids either, even if he did have fate. So not really a huge concern right now. Both players going to draw one. Travis down to four cards in deck. Probably just going to be bidding one for the rest of the game. Which might not be very long. Um, secluded Shrine on the firing. Okay. Does that do anything? I don't think that does any anything other than favor. Like, I guess he's planning on attacking water here since he has Tsuki. Yeah, he's going to attack water. So, didn't care about having that for the shrine. Yeah, water is a pretty good choice. Um, you have, like, the Kasada that doesn't have fate. Definitely don't want him getting bowed. Uh, and then this lets him honor Tsuki and stand his prodigy.
So Storm here is plus five. We established that he still has one left, right? Yeah, so if he has Storm in hand, he could potentially get ten. He'd be at eleven then. It's a little bit scary. Uh, might make Shrodes defend with some extra characters here. But then he just uses it next attack instead, yeah, sure. But, I mean, you can't just let him break this for no reason, just because he had Storm in hand. Um, so, Shrodes is going to win that, gets another Keeper. Like, you have, hopefully, enough political skill here, right? Oh, plus Sentry. His Sentry is finally turned on if he has that. I think we might see a... Ooh. Kasada going for Military Earth. So that means he probably has Fight On. Very difficult to beat. Plus 10, plus 10. Yeah, I mean, that's true, definitely. But again, he does have the Sentry. We don't know if it's in his hand, but... Okay. Ooh, I think he used Prodigy there thinking that Casado was active. I mean, it probably doesn't matter, but I think he's going to use Manicured Garden and then display this, probably. Yep, display of power. Ooh, but that gets centered, wow. And discards five fires at random. Uh, not really what you want to see there, since Travis has no fate, but oh well. So, I mean, now that the center has been spent, I just remembered Tadaka is here, but Shrode's just got the Earth Ring, so he's fine. That's why he actually, he had to center it, because if he didn't, then he couldn't play any events here. Um... Only has four cards, yeah. But, like, if he has the fight on, then he has to play that. Yeah, I think if Travis has Storm, then he probably just wins the game here. What is this? Air? So, I guess the line for... Hmm. Yeah, just going to defend with all three there, not taking any chances. Uh, there's the fight on. So this is actually a lot of skill for Shrodes. 18, if he uses the River of Gold, he's at 23. So I don't think Travis can break, even if he has the Storm. We might just see the pass here. Um, he can ready the Prodigy of the Waves, of course, so he should be fine still. Like, I was thinking... Ooh, is there going to be a Mountain Does Not Fall, actually? That would be pretty sick. Right? 
Reprieve for Casada, yeah. Ooh, Jade Tetsubo. All right, I like it. Oops. Gonna take the fate off of Tadaka. Uh, what am I looking for? Mountains. We've seen, yeah, there's a mountain. That Jade Tetsubo is pretty sick here, actually. Um, unfortunately, it looks like there was no mountain. Yeah, always root for the crabs, definitely. If he did have, like, a mountain on Shuichi, he could covert Prodigy and go void here. Ooh, he has the Wayfinder, though. Let's see, he has a political attack left. Um, hmm. I guess you just... Do you, do you, do you just attack Upholding Authority here? Travis dead to all in airing against UA next turn, yeah. I mean, Tsuki leaves play, so he's still at 2 honor. And Travis just going to win that, actually, so I'm not really sure why he even bothered to attack there, to be honest. Um, no reprieve. Oh, intimidating Hida. That's a good point. Ooh, Conjuro District. Not the best time for that to show up. Couple of Witch Hunters for Crab. That's pretty good here. Ooh, man, so Crab is still in this game. Um, we've seen two clouds from from Phoenix, I believe. So if he plays both of these Witch Hunters here, you're not going to be able to cloud both of them. Yeah, Shrodes might actually have this. Not even going to play this student, just going to pass. Hmm. We see a Mia Mystic, though, instead of... So, yeah, Mia Mystic works just as well, because if he clouds you, you just discard it then. Um, Five Fires is... He has enough fate to use it here. There's one of those left. Only two cards left in his deck. Ethereal Dreamer on the firing. Does he have display of power left? No. He's used both of those. Only two of those in his deck. Yep. So you don't have to worry about display of power anymore. The only thing you kind of have to worry about is five fires here. But if you can just close the game out on this turn, then it doesn't matter. Like, if you go fire here, you dishonor the Prodigy. Pretty sure this just breaks Kuroi Mori. Yeah, I mean, that's possible also. What is this going to be? Nine military and three, four, five, six, seven, eight political. Mm, I don't know if he can break with just what he's sending here. 
It's definitely a threat, though. How many Supernaturals left? There's one Storm left that hasn't been played. I mean, that could be the bottom two cards. Like, uh, Travis's last two cards could just be Five Fires and Storm. Well, no, that does, Five Fires wouldn't matter, because he could just play it with his Stronghold anyway. Is Fire better than Air here? Well, Fire has the Fate on it, and um, Travis has the option of switching the ring anyway, so might as well just go Fire. Uh, plus, you Dishonor the Prodigy if you win it, assuming he doesn't switch it. Ooh, Defend Your Honor to Cancel Clarity of Purpose. Wow, that is pretty sick. Um, unfortunately, there's only one Defend Your Honor, though. And he still has the Stronghold to play Clarity, but if he plays that, that means no Five Fires, it means no Double Storm. Ring gets switched to Water. Seems good. Jade Tetsubo removes Ujina's Fate. Cloud the Mind on Witch Hunter. Good thing he bought the Mystic. Wait, does he have Assassinate? No, he doesn't. Yeah, I don't know why he, why he clouds there then. Like, that cloud just doesn't do anything, right? I don't know, that seems kind of strange. Um, Shrodes is going to win the conflict. No water ring, but he will get two keepers. Probably pretty happy about that. Mia Mystic removes the cloud. So if Travis passes one of his conflicts, he's down to one honor. That means he can't afford to let a fire or an air ring through, or he just loses the game. Uh, we see Tattooed Wanderer on Ethereal Dreamer for some reason. I don't think that's going to do anything. I mean, you covert one guy, sure. Maybe this is the double storm play? Yeah, you can't covert Shuichi. He's too powerful. So I expect to see a fairly large defense here. Um, you definitely don't want to let him have this firing, and you certainly don't want your stronghold to break. Yep, so this is enough to win on defense without committing anything else, so he just passes. Um, oh, the Tattooed Wanderer took a fate, so he can't five fires now. So, like, I think if Shrodes makes it to next turn, then he wins no matter what. Cute and Asawa going to play, what, Clarity? Clarity are against the waves, probably. Yep, there's the Clarity. Yeah, like, I think Travis is dead here, right? Can Travis defend and attack again this turn? I don't think he can. Yeah, we've seen all the against the waves. We've seen all the clarities now. Yeah, so you just you attack air here and then he's forced to defend. Wait, has he not used the prodigy already? Yeah, he already used it. Wait, you're going Earth? You got air, right? He tried to clarity that one, but it got defend your honored.
Uh, he did use Moray, actually. He switched to Watering. Yeah, wow, so that is going to be the Stronghold break. Um, I'm not really sure why that was the Earth Ring there. Like, you just go Air, right? And then, I think if you go Air, you win literally no matter what. Because if he doesn't defend, you just win even if you don't break. And if he does defend, then he can't attack, so then he loses if he loses the conflict. I don't know, but it didn't matter. Um, it was military, so he had enough skill to just break it there. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but that is going to be the game, so congratulations to Schrodes. He will be moving on to the top four. Yeah, definitely a crazy game there. Um, he'll play against the winner of Athusium versus Cobalt Blue, so either a Scorpion or a Phoenix. A little bit surprised to see a scorpion making it this far in the cup. Let's take a quick look at that deck. Ooh, Karmic Balance. That's pretty spicy. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a Hante deck. Okay. Yeah, so hopefully we can cast that one, actually. That would be fun. But yeah, that's going to do it for this game. So congratulations again to Shrodes, and thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time.